welcome to our new Game Changer video. Recently, I have talked to our developers. They have implemented a new module in Xenon, the Process Recorder. The Process Recorder is a game changer in the area of incidents investigation. One purpose of a SCADA system is to analyze past events. With this new module, the user can watch already elapsed events directly in the SCADA displays, as if they would happen right now. Especially in very complex scenarios, this analysis method is much, much easier than doing it in your head by parsing event list or deconstructing trend graphs. The process recorder really reduces the mental burden. That's what they say. Analysis tools and features which were available so far are now complemented by the process recorder. Abstract lists like the event list or trends like the trend can be difficult to analyze. The process recorder shows the real world. You can see directly what happened, where it happened and in which order it happened. Now we want to have a look into our demo application to give you an idea how the process recorder can look like in your application. I am still in my running HMI for a substation and now I want to travel back in time. To do so, I go into my event list, it could also be your alarm list, and I change the filter a little bit to see a certain point in time which I'm interested in. In this case, it's this one. And I mark this event and then I click on this button. This button has a function called process recorder start replay. What happens now is that my client workstation shuts down from the hardware mode and restarts completely isolated in the simulation replay mode. After a few seconds, the workstation client appears in new colors. In this case, it's orange to show me we are in simulation mode. And now I go again, I navigate into my process screen and I see what was going on in the morning. Um, it seems um, that there was a switching sequence in my bus coupler disconnectors. And if I want to see how this um, continued, I just open my process recorder time machine screen, my process recorder navigation screen, and click on start. And now the system shows me what happened exactly at this time in my process. We are still in simulation mode, in replay mode to be exact, and now I want to show you how the process recorder screen type looks like. Our new screen type with new uh, elements in it, and uh, one of these elements you have already seen, it's the start button, which um, causes the, the process recorder replay mode to show you what happened as in a video, in the exact same order, in the exact uh, same time resolution. Clicking again on that button pauses that video mode and um, releases or provides further information like these lists we see here. So we see the interval lists and the next step 
list if you want, we see these buttons, step backwards, step forward, and interval forward, and step backward, uh, interval backward. With step forward, I, as it says, step forward in time, event by event. So if there are a lot of events recorded, um, I have to do that very often. Um, for that, we have the possibility of the interval forward and interval backward button. The interval itself is a time which is defined in the application. In my case, it's 10 seconds. So if I click on interval forward, I would jump forward 10 seconds. So this is something I will do now. So we see how the process looked like 10 seconds after the event we were in before. Then the system has the possibility to jump to events which are in these interval lists. For instance, if I am interested in, oh, okay, what happened here, and I want to jump directly into that uh, point in time, I mark this event and click on jump to event and I see how the process looked like exactly at this time. And there is also a time slider or a time uh, navigation slider which I can take, grab and move backwards and forwards and for instance I know there was a time in the past where the server was not running and not recording I go back and I see there are no information available in the process recorder for that point in time. So I go back into that area where the server was running and there is information available. You might ask me why the simulation mode? If you do analysis, you want to be decoupled from the live process. Any interaction with the SCADA application must not have an effect on their real equipment. This is the reason why a client workstation in simulation mode cuts all connections of its drivers and the Xenon network. Engineering of the process recorder is really easy. In just four steps, you can get your process recorder running. Step one, enable the process recorder. Go to project settings, navigate to the process recorder properties, and then activate your process recorder. Step two, you need to tell the system which variables shall be recorded. Go to variables, mark your variables you want to have recorded, and check activate recording. Step three, you need a function to go into simulation replay mode. There is a function already prepared in that application. I'll show you how it looks like. Very important in this case is the replay settings where you define the time frame you put into the simulation mode for analysis and where you define which time stamp or which point in time you're interested in. In our case, it's variable from the event list. So take over from calling screen. And step four, create your screen and the referring function for that screen to have a navigation possibility in the replay mode then. And this screen can, for instance, look like this. There is a template available which you directly can load. Then you create your function which calls that screen and you're done. Why would you use the process recorder in Xenon? It really helps to analyze incidents in a short time. You can use it as a complement tool for reducing the mental burden when analyzing abstract lists and trends. You can compare faulty situations with healthy conditions. And it's so easy to configure. If you say, this is cool, give me more information, just get in contact with us via email or visit our website.